Hello, and welcome to WebPlus. In this quick start video, we'll go through some simple steps for designing your site and getting it online. When you open WebPlus, you'll be greeted with the Startup Assistant. From here, you can either start a new website from scratch, or work with a professionally designed template. You can also access recently opened sites, view the latest learning resources and tutorials, and keep up to date with breaking serif news. You can also set up web hosting from the Startup Assistant, which you'll need to get your site online. Click the arrows on the initial page of the Startup Assistant until you see the serif hosting page, and then click Go to get started. We'll look at hosting in a little more detail later. You don't need to start from scratch with WebPlus. Today, we're going to look at creating a website from a design template. To begin, click Templates. On the left of the dialog, click Theme Layouts, Desktop Websites, and then choose a theme for your site. We'll choose Level, which has a very technical, business-like appearance to it. If you want to, you can select a different colour scheme from the drop-down list. You can also uncheck any pages that you don't want in your site, then click OK. Your website will appear in the workspace. Let's start customising it. The Pages tab on the right is really useful for quickly accessing other pages in your site. Double-click a page's name to display it in the workspace. To add a new page, click the down arrow next to Add New Page or Link, and click New Blank Page. Following the technical theme, let's call the page Research, then click OK. As you can see, our new page is added to the Pages tab. This green icon, where the navigation bar should be, indicates that the text on the navigation bar has overflowed. We can fix this by resizing the navigation bar, excluding pages from navigation, or even removing pages from the site. As one solution, let's remove the gallery page from the site. To delete a page, double-click it to select it in the Pages tab, and then click Delete Page. When WebPlus asks if we really want to delete the page, click Yes. Now the navigation bar can be displayed again. You can also rename web pages easily. Right click your chosen page and select Page Properties. Type the new name of your page and then click OK. Now our navigation bar is sorted, let's edit some of the content in the themed layout. We'll start with the title. Click the title on the page to select it. These buttons below indicate that the object is on a master page. Objects on master pages will appear on every page in the site. Click Edit on Master Page below the title to quickly access the master page. We can now triple-click the text and give our site a new title. To navigate away from the master page, Simply select a page in the Pages tab. You can see that the title has been updated on every page in the site. If you have any unfinished pages in your site, you might want to add an under-construction graphic to them. We'll do this using assets, which are professional, ready-to-use designs included in WebPlus. On the Assets tab to the left of the workspace, click Browse. This is the Asset Browser. To search the Asset Browser, click in the search box at the top right corner and start typing Construct. A range of construction graphics have appeared. Click on the one you want to use and then click Close to exit the Asset Browser. The asset has appeared in the Graphics category of the Assets tab. Select it and then drag it out onto your page. You can then resize and reposition it as required. 
it's very straightforward to overwrite the placeholder text in a template. We'll look at editing text on the home page, but all text can be edited in the same way. First, double click the home page to display it in the workspace. Drag select the orange heading text to select it, and then start typing. You can also edit paragraph text. Drag select a text frame to select a paragraph, and then start typing to replace the placeholder text. You can use the zoom tools on the hint line at the bottom of the workspace to zoom in for a better view if required. Now would be a good time to save our work. From the file menu at the top left of the workspace, click Save As. Choose where you want to save your file, and then type a file name. Click Save. As our website is based on a template, we can quickly fill these empty picture frames, which look like envelope-shaped placeholders, with our own pictures. Select the Pictures category on the Assets tab, and click Add at the bottom. Navigate to your pictures, select the ones you want to use, and click Open. Your pictures will populate the Pictures category on the Assets tab. Find an empty picture frame on your page, then select the picture you want to add, and drag it onto the frame. When the inside of the frame turns blue, release the mouse button. Repeat this process until all of the placeholder frames are filled with pictures. Let's preview our site again to see what our pictures will look like when published. Not bad. Looking at the About Us page, we can see some animated text at the bottom that slides on and off screen. This is called a slider, and is a great way of displaying content on your site in a creative and stylish way. It's easy to add your own content to the sliders, and we'll look at doing this now. Double-click the About Us page in the Pages tab to select it for editing. If we click into the text box, we can directly edit the text. So we'll go ahead and do this now. To edit the other text sliders, however, we will need to click on the Select Parent button, which will then enable us to use the arrow icons to move back and forth between the sliders panels. We can also edit the panel content and tweak many more options in the Slider Studio, accessed from the Context toolbar. In the Slider Options tab, we can change a wealth of options, including whether to autoplay the slider, how long the panels should stay on screen, and how quickly the transition is between them. For now, we'll move to the Panels tab and edit the content of the next panel, once again changing the text. We can then close the Slider Studio by clicking the Close button in the top left. You'll probably want to preview your site again to see the slider in action. One of the most important parts of any site is the contact information. On our site's Contact Us page, you'll see an embedded Google Map. We can add markers to this map to show where our business is located, and help people to find it. Double-click the Google Map to get started. The Edit Google Map dialog will appear. Type your postcode, or zip code, into the Search for a Location field, and then click Search. You can click and drag on the preview map on the right to move it if you need to, or use the map controls. To add a marker, click Add in the Map Markers section. Click on the map where you would like to add your marker. If you accidentally add it in the wrong place, click Move, and then click your point on the map again. Give your marker a name, 
and click OK. Then OK again to exit both dialogues. The map preview will update accordingly. Note that the marker will only appear when you preview your site using the built-in preview or an external web browser. Using the techniques we've learned so far, try editing the placeholder content on the other pages of the site. Have a look at the other WebPlus videos if you get stuck. When you're happy with your site, it's time to give it a worldwide audience and upload it to the internet. We'll look at uploading with Serif web hosting, but feel free to use a different hosting provider if you want to. Let's begin on the standard toolbar at the top of the workspace. Click the down arrow next to Publish Site and select Publish to Web. This is the Publish to Web Get Hosting dialog. Clicking Activate Now will direct you to the web hosting page on serif.com where you can set up your hosting. Alternatively, if you already have hosting, click Add Details and then add your account details to WebPlus. On the serif.com hosting page, which will have just opened in an internet browser, select an initial hosting package of your choice. For this site, we might like to go for gold. Type your email address into the box and click Continue. If you've already got a Serif account, enter your password and click Continue. If you haven't, follow the displayed instructions to create a Serif account. Now we can set up a new WebPlus hosting account. Your email address will already have been added, so create a password and then confirm it by typing it again. Here, you'll need to choose and confirm a domain prefix, which will be the name of your website. Think carefully about this, because you can't change it once it's been created. Finally, read the terms and conditions. When you're happy, check the box and click Continue. There are various hosting packages available with Serif web hosting. Read the descriptions carefully to find the package most suited to your needs, and then select it. Follow the displayed instructions to confirm your payment details. When you're finished, click Your Account, and your hosting details will be displayed. The final step is to add these details to WebPlus via the Account Details dialog. This dialog will have popped up earlier when you clicked Publish to Web. First, create an account name. Now you need to copy and paste your details from the Manage Hosting Account page on serif.com into the Account Details dialog. You might find it helpful to hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and press Tab to quickly navigate between your internet browser and WebPlus. When you've finished copying your details into the dialog, click OK. In the Upload to Server dialog, click Test to check that your details are working correctly. Note it can take up to 30 minutes for your hosting account to activate. If the test fails, double check your account details and internet connection and try again. Once the test has been successful, click Update Account and then click OK. Your files are uploaded to your website and your website will now be online. Once your site is finished uploading, click Close. At this point, you can choose to preview the site at its live web address by clicking View This URL. That's all for this quick start video. To find out more about WebPlus, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thank you for watching.